Have you heard about 12G, SDI, connect, disconnect, power protocols? It's a mouthful, but it's a big deal. It might all be going away thanks to this small cable from Core. You're watching Synity, supported by b and and CVP. Hello everyone, Graham Ehlers Sheldon here from CineD.com. Welcome again to NAB 2024. I'm here on the show floor joined by Ross from Core. How's it going, Ross? I'm doing well, how about yourself? I am doing very well, honestly, because I just, before we started rolling, you gave me a quick demo of something I think is pretty cool. So I'm gonna let you just launch right into it. Tell the folks what you have in your hands here. So we have a new auxiliary power connector and system for onboard batteries essentially, and what it's called is PD Pro. It's a derivative of USB-C PD, but it's even better. It is 100% backward compatible with USB-C PD, but what it does is provide you, you know, similar form factor to like a, a old school DTAP, and it plugs in, you can rotate it around so there's no polarity concern, but it gives you wide range voltage. Anywhere from five volts, the platform will go up to 48 volts. With our current battery system, uh, the two products that we launched at the show, you get up to 28 volts. And the real beauty about this is, uh, besides the polarity back and forth as we were discussing, it eliminates the SDI concerns on cameras burning out because once the voltage is negotiated, it's simultaneously connected as opposed to if you put the PD uh, power tap in the wrong way, you connect positive before ground, that's what the, the inherent issue is. So even on our battery packs nowadays, you can even see it here, we recess the positive pin to try to protect against it, but it's still happening every now and then for whatever reason, they don't disconnect properly, I don't know. Um, so that eliminates that for this system. Um, so it is a locking connector. It's double insulated. It protects the USB-C PD. You can rotate it, and it's highly versatile on all camera builds. And we have two products highlighting it right now. So beyond, I mean, the, the locking part of it for the USB-C PD connector, you also get feedback in the form of a light. It shows you you have juice running through the cable. Right. So we offer them, uh, you get a little indicator that says like 24 volts or 12 volts. And this is 12 volt to two pin, 24 volt to three pin. We also have just a standard, like a smaller version, USB-C PD uh, to PD Pro. And this is for like an FX30 build or an FX3. And the other nice thing, um, I've told everyone, we're in the battery business. We wanna make stuff so people buy our battery products. Um, these cables are very economical. We leverage USB-C PD um, chipsets and circuitry, which is highly scaled. So this is a $19 cable. These go up to $55. So it's not a pain point in getting into the system. And if you don't want to use it, you still have two USB-C PD ports that work with any device, like a laptop, a phone, right on set. So just to put a, a really fine point on this, because I think this is probably the banner headline here, is that the... I guess, well, what's it commonly referred to, like SDI power protocol, that is a, a thing of the past, are you telling me, with this system? If you use our, yeah, if you use the PD Pro system, the connection's simultaneous, so that the, the issue with the ground not being closed and then creating a ground loop with the SDIs cannot happen with our protocol. And this is achieved without using, you know, a bulky isolator system, or I've seen other solutions that you need to power externally, you know, through DC or all these things. That is incredibly cool. And okay, so obviously you need to have some kind of uh, USB PD battery then, and I assume you have some options there from Core? Yeah, we have two. Uh, one is our new G3 packs. So this is, builds upon our HyperCore series. It's been around since 2014, 2013. So our third generation have RGB LED indicators. So you can change between camera A, camera B, camera C, or if few owner ops go on the same set, they just want to delineate, they can choose each a color. You could also shut them off. Some AC said, listen, I don't, want, I don't want the LEDs on, that's fine. You also have a side LCD on it, backlit, nice, that uh, three phase gives you all the data you need there. Um, 20 amp cells in here, so this is sort of the low voltage variant of our Helix line, that's for like the Alexa 35, so very robust. Uh, the new casing that we've, we've shown off on our new uh, Nano X line that we released last month, and then two PD Pro ports and uh, PTAP. So the PD Pro ports outside the power output, you can also charge these from USB-C PD. Not, not elegant, but works. 100 watt charge, I'll charge these in an hour. 
Um, and they're available in 99 watt hours and 144 watt hours V-mount gold mount. Um, now, are, are these stackable at all? Maybe we pan this around. So, oh, that's it. So okay, this okay. Something different. This, oh, all right. Yeah. This is really cool and, and really outside the PD Pro has gotten uh, the most reaction, which is our new Powerbase Edge Snap Series. So the Powerbase line has been one of the most successful battery lines, I, I think, in the industry, right? We've sold tens of thousands of these for Blackmagic cameras, um, Canon cameras, Sony cameras. They typically go under the camera. But what we're doing here is we're making a new snap mount platform coupled with two D-taps and two PD Pro ports. So it's a magnetic platform with recessed... Uh, Pin, like pins, yep. Yep, on both sides and you can add and subtract as you need to for redundant power. The other nice thing about it, so these are 49 watt hours, so when I put two on, you're getting 100 watt hours of power. And as we show here, uh, this way, you could stack them to charge. So one PD, USB-C PD charger allows you to charge a stack up to eight. You could technically go an infinite number, but we find eight is probably good just so that it doesn't fall over. Um, as for discharge, you can go up to three, we recommend, just because then it also becomes a little less stable. But the packs are only a pound, uh, 0.83 pounds rather. So less than a pound, and they have nine pounds of magnetic strength. So if I take this and I put it on here, I could pan, I can move around, they're not going anywhere. Um, I could take two off, just to show you a little demo, and you're solid. So. Um, with these PD Pro ports, I can get up to 28 volts, as we said, and that can power you know, anything from a Teradek to a Light Ranger to a wind defle uh, rain deflector. Um, we're powering this small HD monitor right now, so it's super versatile power. Yeah, and, and just for the folks at, at home, Ross, I know you know this, but especially in, say, the reality world and the documentary world where the camera is required to be recording for many hours in a row, this kind of hot swappable solution is, is particularly exciting, at least for me. I mean, I, I assume you guys thought of that when you were thinking so of we've this. We've been getting a, a ton of feedback, yes. And um, even we had some Arial Alexa 35 users that are on, you know, let's say a tripod, they have no DC input, they have to swap the battery. We can go PD Pro to the Airy input, swap the battery. This battery goes back in your pocket. It's so small. Or I could take it out. DIT could use it to charge a laptop. They could charge your phone. Um, the platform will go up to 48 volts at some point, and then we can power lighting also. So uh, these have been kind of the, the darling of, of our show, at least. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. Banner headline here, uh, PD Pro, the cable series, very exciting. You know, you have to, uh, you know, obviously be bought into the core ecosystem with the both new batteries. To buy our batteries, but we're working with OEMs. So, you know, we want to innovate, right? We're not just taking batteries and jacking up the capacity and making it look a little different or even like, you know, we in kind of invented the rubberized shell, and we got away from the rubberized shell because during COVID, people used hand sanitizer and the isopropyl alcohol actually rubs it off. So we, we stay away from that. And we really take customer feedback and, you know, onset feedback. We don't do polls and we don't, you know, we get propositioned all the time for reviews and like stuff. And we, we want real world feedback. We want to actually help the industry move along. Um, and these products are really epitomized just years of feedback. I've wanted to make this product for so long. It's just we had to wait for the technology to get where it is. We also have, I forgot to mention, this killer QR plate that also works. So the Edge Snaps have quarter 20s that you can mount it. But with this QR plate, you could put it under like a camera, an FX30, mount it like that. Um, these have, like in this build, a bunch of anti-rotational 3.8s and quarter 20s. And lastly, it has a hidden V-lock. So I can take this and now clip this anywhere. See, even the cameraman just opened up his mouth. You can't see, but oh. yeah, Pre Preston's behind the camera nodding and yeah. smiling. So uh, that worked. You know, again, just super versatile. Some were saying even like take this plate and put it on a, a Zoom recorder for audio. And we think these packs are gonna be all over set. Like we've already got in proposition for like a thousand packs because 
they're just cool, very versatile, and um, versatility is, on, in key, is key because you never know what set's going to throw at you. You know, production's going to put your way. You never know what's going to get thrown at you. Ross, um, you know, I've been wandering around the show floor now for a bunch of hours over the last couple of days. Thank you for working towards making our lives easier on set. I don't say this all the time. Like, obviously, I haven't tried this out in the field. But in terms of a show floor demo, pretty killer. Thank you. That was cool. Thanks for stepping by. All right, guys, that's it for us here at the core booth at NAB 2024. Maybe SDI power protocol thing of the past, at least if you're using core batteries. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more continuing coverage from the show. And if you could like and subscribe, that would be awesome.